Alrighty, so while 4v4 is going on, I had one of uh, one of the guys that I do demons with and stuff like that. He was sending me um, he was sending me pictures of how his team is doing, and he's using this team right here. He is currently I don't know if he's still right now or not, but he is in champ one, and he is the top number one player in ungeared PvP as far as the last time that he updated me on it. So we're gonna be messing around with his team. He, he I think he has another 10k CC above me, um, and he is using wine food um, to kind of help with like the scoring and stuff like that for PvP. So it's not giving him any like actual benefit as far as like his team goes so i think with me having the extra ult gauge it might be kind of nice for rushing ultimate but the team just has a lot of great utility um sigurd is honestly really really good for the team the more that i use sigurd on the assault meliotis team it just he really fits the team well and just having those like couple of extra buffs and stuff like that make meli hit super hard um sigurd's amplify card hits really hard um so I don't know. Honestly, it's a it's a pretty fun time. As long as I don't go against a Bond team that just absolutely doesn't attack and then just rushes ult, um, that has been the only thing that really screws me over. Um, but, I mean, other than that, I've, I've been doing really, really well. So, let's see what goes on here. We've got a normal sort of Escanor team going on. Looks like he is upgrading on Lost Vein, which is kind of interesting. Going to put up a shield. I think what we're going to do is let's move. I, I can actually just rush ult first thing. And I think I will. I think that'll just be the easiest, easiest move. So by the time it gets back to me, his shield is going to be off unless he just puts up another one. He didn't put up the um, ult reduction first turn, so I should be good on that if if he attacks me at all, I'm going to get the extra moves and stuff from Sigurd, which he didn't. So that is fine. No big deal there. I think we should... Let's put up that and this. And let's go ahead and hit with the ult as well. That way, next turn, we'll get Sigurd's buffs. We have a counter up on Chandler. And then we can start seeing if he hits me at all. <laughs> that almost killed Liz straight up, which is hilarious. I have, I think my melee is a 3-6, so the ult isn't like as good as it could be. It's pretty much like the, the bare middle grounds. But let's see what he goes for this time, because if he attacks or anything like that, I mean, it's just going to give me more stacks and I'm going to be able to put more into him. I don't know. We'll see. Looks like he's using two cards so far. It might be a shield on Liz, which I don't think will necessarily be a problem, but not ideal. Boom, boom, boom. That's pretty good. Alrighty, so we now have our extra buffs. I think what we're going to do is Let's slap him down just to make sure that he goes down. We'll try to go for a little bit of extra hand space. I'm pretty confident that Sigurd kills here. Boom, 65k, not bad. And then we're putting up another one of these. We'll have two ults in hand. We still have another turn. Uh, I think it's two turns left on Melee's buffs. So. I don't have any cards in hand for melee, unfortunately, so there's a little bit of an issue. Uh, but if, I, if Chandler survives, I can use his ult, and it probably will kill Liz and get a decent amount of damage out on Escanor and um, Gother here. Not too sure about... I think, if anything, I need to try to get this out on Escanor. Okay, never mind. Next match. All right, it took a while to load in, so I'm pretty sure this is an actual player. He's got decently high CC, and he's running Merlin in the back for a little bit of extra ult rush, so I'm ass assuming he's just going to ult rush with Escanor. Um, let's see how it goes. Because if he just moves cards around and stuff like that, whatever. Um, if he attacks, that gives me buffs, which is great. Um, I can go for first turn 
ultimate unless he get, well he has red gother up front so he can't even use an ult reduction on me actually all right very interesting here um i'm kind of scared that he's gonna one tap melee but let's try to rush the ult either way Merlin's shield is definitely not as good as Liz. I'm expecting Escanor to just hit into... I forgot about that. I haven't played against like a Merlin in a long time. That was pretty smart. Um, I think let's go for that play. I maybe should have tried to move a card around on Melee again to try to get ultimate back, but this will make sure that I don't lose my ultimate moves, and then even if he does use it, or if he doesn't use it, he'll get reduced because of Zeldris. So I think we're at a pretty good spot here. Still have to worry about Goddess Liz Resurrect, but... Might not be too big of an issue. Okay, uh, honestly, I think I'm okay with that. Um, let's go for this, this, and this is a tough one. I think I'm gonna go for that. I've wanted to put up a stance really bad, but it just might not have been worth it. Cause I mean, he's, it's very possible that he's just gonna tap into melee here and kill him. But I do have ult with Chandler, so that might intimidate him a little bit. We'll just have to see what he does. Which I could have played this a little bit wrong too. There might have been something better that I could have done. That did nothing. Okay, attack seals pretty obnoxious. Kind of annoying. Boom. Still did nothing there. That was a level three card too, so that was pretty impressive. Uh, let's go for. Let's go for that. He doesn't have his immunity anymore, so I think we may be able to nullify the death damage here. That killed those two in the middle, which is really good. Almost killed Merlin as well. Alright, so depending on who he hits here... I mean, I honestly, yeah, I was about to say, even if he kills Melee, I think I'm fine. So that one worked out pretty good. Alright. So we do have a Bond team here. Let's see how he plays this because I I have one against Bond teams with this team. But if he just plays it super smart and he does nothing but move cards around and stuff, it does end up screwing me pretty bad. So we'll just kind of see what his play is and then kind of play off of it from there. So he's using I th probably Arthur's stance and the buff, I would assume. And then he's using the attack as well. Okay, that's not bad. Alright, let's go for... Since he used that first turn, uh, it, unless he just got lucky and ended up pulling an extra one, I think we're just gonna go for two moves there. And then... I can't hit him or else it'll take away my, my gauge. So I think we just put up a, a taunt and then see how that goes. I do already have my buffs and stuff like that um, from Sigurd, which is really nice because if he attacks into me, Zeltris' passive puts um, a debuff on them, which is really good. So he's putting up another one, which is unfortunate, but I can... Put these together. Um, I think I'm going to 
extort either way. And then... Uh, he's just gonna get the HP back from, from me attacking with Sigurd, I think, from the, the buff. So I'm just gonna put the extort on, put a little bit of ult reduction, and we'll see what happens next. Because now I'll be able to ult, and I already have those three attack buffs on, which is kind of nice. So depending on how much damage he can deal to me this turn, um, which he could end up doing really well if he has a detonate card or something like that. Okay, he's, he's going to play it safe and make sure that I can't get extra buffs, which is understandable. But let's go for this... I really need to kill Arthur if possible, but that ult from Escanor could end up being a really big problem. So let's try to go for something like this. This should kill Escanor at the very least. Boom. Pretty good damage. We got seven buffs. 133k, which isn't bad. I would have loved to have done... I would have loved to have killed either of these two, but at least he doesn't have the buff on right now, so he's not going to get um, their HP back which is a really good thing for us right now. We did get another Amplify card, which is really nice. If he hits us at all, uh, we should be able to end up getting some extra damage out. But it looks like he's just going to ult Rush. I don't know if we can kill here. But we're going we're gonna to just go for it and try. He doesn't have the buff on at the moment. It's not looking great. <laughs> this might have been a misplay on my part. Yeah. God, he's just got so much HP. Which, I still have my buffs on Melee. I, Melee might not die here. It just depends on what happens. It looks like he's ulting first, so he doesn't have a buff card, I don't think. Uh, we're probably dead, though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I said it in the beginning, Melee's obviously the uh, the big thing there. Uh, or at Bon is the big thing here. Melee Otis, uh, the Assault Melee team is pretty much green because of Melee, and uh, it really just doesn't uh, just doesn't hold up against the type advantage and the extra HP and just how tanky he is. You, can, I've can't, I've won against him before, but you know it is what it is. All right, so we got a little bit of an interesting team here. We got sort of an unknown team. Not really, though. It's basically just an Escanor comp with Amelia and Merlin, which is kind of interesting. I think it's a bot because it just used an emote on me, but I could be wrong. Um, I should be able to rush ult here, which is kind of nice. Um, I do already have buffs, which is kind of nice. I think I'm going to save the Amplify card, so that way I can try to get a little bit more use with my ultimate buffs. I already have the three additional buffs, which is kind of nice. Looks like he's going to attack me, which is going to give me even more buffs. It, depending on if he attacks all three times, he probably wipes the whole team here. Well, except for Merlin. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a bot. I don't know why you would attack Sigurd in this situation. Alright, so they're pretty much dead. Uh, just in case, we're just going to attack all all in on Escanor. But I'm feeling confident about this. Okay, res on Amelia. Nice. Not a whole lot of damage on Amelia, to be honest. It's like disadvantage, but I kind of figured he would do more with uh, with three buffs and an Amplify card, to be honest. I kind of wish he would have just killed Merlin, to be honest with that. That's a little unfortunate. Um, let's just go for... That right there. That worked out pretty good. We're attacking with three different people here, so we shouldn't freeze anybody. And that's gonna be pretty much game. I mean, it was a bot and it was attacking into me. So pretty much seen that coming. 
no freeze because bad, bad gamer. All right, we'll just go to the next match. All righty, so we got another Bond team. He does have Cleanse, which is kind of interesting, and he's running Griamore instead of Twiggo, which I don't see very often. So, oof, tough call here on the first play. I think we're gonna go for probably Probably something like this, if I can make sure that she can't cleanse off my debuffs, or my buffs, or, yeah. If she can't cleanse off the debuffs first turn, then uh, that'll give us a little bit of extra damage. Hopefully we can do something with that. I didn't pull any extra melee cards, so we're not going to be able to ult rush or anything like that. Kind of unfortunate, to be honest. Uh, he did attack me with Griamore, of all people. Is this a bot, too? Um, okay. That gives me a couple of extra buffs. I'll take it. We'll do whatever we gotta do. Um, I probably need to kill... Arthur as quickly as possible. So let's just try to get as much damage out as we can on him early. Nice. So he's down. So, obviously it would probably be better to go for Griamore. Yeah, this has got to be a bot too. I feel bad when, when I show bot games, but like it's just, it's not even that late right now either. It's only like 11.30. So, sorry for the bot games, but I don't... <laughs> I don't spend gems on extra PvP like tickets or anything like that, so unfortunately, this is just kind of what I get while I record. Alrighty, so we've got ult finally. Not like it really matters. Um, I don't have an amplify card or anything that I can use, unfortunately. He is going to take off an ultimate gauge as well, so there is that. And I did not pull any melee cards. We can stop him from ulting with Zeldris here, which is kind of nice. If I would have just used the next extra attack, it would have just killed him, which maybe would have been a better play, to be honest. But now we have Sigurd's ultimate, which is kind of cool. Um, we should keep his debuffs, or his uh, attack buffs, I think. His One of his attack buffs actually might run out this turn. It did not yet, so let's just go for this and try to hope that kills. And then we'll try to use these two cards on Bon. That did not kill. Bonk. Either way. I've actually, I don't think I've been able to use this ult in a PvP match yet. 97k, honestly not bad. He had full pretty, or pretty much full HP, so we got the most out of the flood there, but uh... Yeah, I don't know. It was just kind of a fun team. I always like playing uh, Assault Melee teams and stuff like that, and he was saying how well he was doing with it. He he literally had a picture of him on, like, a 27-win streak, which was absolutely insane. Like, that's so much of a win streak. Um, so I, I thought it would be kind of fun to mess around with the team because I just I like Melee, and in the 4v4 mode, I think he does pretty well. So um, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to subscribe for more content in the future, and I'll see you guys in the next one.